Hey guys, Johnny Say down here in the corner. What I'm gonna do in the next couple minutes is, I know you're excited about the workshop, but just so that's as efficient as possible, I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial of all the buttons, all the shortcuts you'll need to know, so that when we go through this session, you're as ready to rock as possible. Here we go. So the first thing we're gonna learn is how to zoom in. When you get to this, this page, you might be in one location or another. You might just be way off to the side or right here with, with what you're looking at. What you're gonna do is press Control Plus on your keyboard and that'll let you zoom in, right? Control Plus is to zoom in and Control Minus, well, that's gonna be zoom out. Easy enough so far, right? The next thing I'm gonna ask you to do is be able to move your screen around so that you can follow us as we advance through the exercises. To do so, simply click on empty space. It's important because if you click on, say, a post-it, you might actually drag it around. If you click on empty space and hold, it makes a fist that lets you know you're grabbing the screen. And then you can easily drag your finger across your mouse pad, or if you have a traditional mouse, drag your mouse across the mouse pad and change what you're looking at. So again, I'm gonna press Control Plus for zoom and then I'm gonna click and hold to drag in to the landing pad where we get started. The next thing you're gonna to need to know how to do is play with a post-it. So by clicking on a post-it, it gives you all these options, right? You can change the color, you can change the size by clicking and dragging, but more importantly, by double clicking, you can add text. So with that being said, if you can't find an empty post-it, a great thing to do is find a post-it that already exists press Control C to copy it, and press Control V to paste it. So now you can make as many post-its as you could ever imagine. You can just simply change the text to anything you want. If you don't see any post-its in the area, which there should be, but if there aren't, walk with me, slide with me over to the left side of the screen where you see the, the cursor. So this icon right here is actually a sticky note which you could press in and they'll appear, but here's a simple way to do it. Just click on it, select the color you want, and then select the area you would like to place that post-it. Now I've got a post-it ready for typing and I'm good to go, right? Simple enough. Again, to move those post-its around, all you do is click and hold, and you can drag that post-it anywhere you want, right? Easy to do. So if I wanna drag this post-it across the screen, I just have to simply lean into it and push it all the way across the screen, right? And then I can drop it, say, right here. So just to review, zooming in, control plus, zooming out, control minus. To move about the screen, you know, slide left and right. And then during the session, if you do get lost, you will be able to see everyone else's cursor. And right up here where on my screen it says share, you'll see small circles with different names. In order to follow someone, which means bring yourself to them, all you have to do is click that circle and it'll bring you right back. So in, in this workshop's case, it'll be best if you click on my name and it'll bring us all back into a little group. Simple enough. So excited to have you come to the workshop. Can't wait to get rolling. Practice a little bit before you get going so that everything is as smooth as possible and you don't have to worry about anything except creating what's next. Can't wait to see you there.